guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a walk around of the uh, our new van, which is a 23.6 foot Scorpion Stingair. All right, just starting at the front here, we have the D045 hitch. All right, now, the only way that you can put this cap on is when, see it, wank on, is when it is done properly. So that's when it's locked in. The cap fits on perfectly, right? If it's not, if it's not locked in, you can't put the cap on. So that's how you know whether you've uh, actually locked it in or not. Once you back your car up and you've got it all lined up, push that down, shoots forward and locks in the actual uh, the pin on the back of the uh, tow hitch. Handbrake. This is the uh, ESC, right? The electronic stability control, which goes to the back of the car. This is the uh, camera that goes, the dual cameras at the back, and then we have a, they call it a, a, a wazi, wazi cable, goes to the back of the car so that I can see what's going on behind my van whilst driving. We've gone with the Boss jockey wheel, all right? At the moment, it's just got a plate on there. Obviously, the rest of the van's jacked up, so I don't need it down, so it's just sitting there at the moment, just for its good looks. I've gone and screwed in a couple of uh, screws here, bolted on the uh, this piece of Perspex, and I have my flag pole, all right, Australian flag at the top, and my very first battalion that I uh, joined in 1988, being the second fourth battalion up in Townsville. On the front here, we have the two nine litre gas bottles, and what I'm actually putting on here, I've taken off of the uh, um, stone barrier, stone guard, and what I'm actually gonna put on here is a toolbox. And in that toolbox, it's going to be a wood box. Now, it's in getting powder coated for me at the moment. I picked the toolbox up from Trade Tools, and it was, oh, I think it was $299 or 290 bucks or something like that. And when I put it on, I'll add that to this video and uh, give you a good look. All right, it's a lockable box. So when I don't have wood in it, I can put other tools and put whatever I want in there. Hey, guys, one thing that I did add to my, uh, which I think I might have spoke about, is my little wood box obviously the wood box that goes on the back we couldn't have it on there due to our trailer so what i've done is i've gone to uh trade tools and i bought this toolbox it was silver it cost me i think it was about 290 bucks and i um took it up the road to swift powder coating and uh just did a cashy 100 bucks and they powder coated it for me Good thing about it is you can lock it as struts and I've just fixed it to the van by taking off of the uh, stone guard that was at the front. I'm going to have a stone stomper so I don't really need the stone guard and I've just used the little brackets that were on the actual stone stomper. So one in there one in this side and you can see where they've come through the bottom all right it's a pretty easy job and the good thing also with this one if you don't want to come through the top you can come through the end now what i'm going to put in there is my firewood when i don't have firewood in it it can then become a storage space for whatever you want to put in there Struts work well, it's key locked. So I'm pretty happy with the end result. Fits in quite well. I've made it so that I can still undo my jockey wheel and also that I can undo my gas bottles and of course take them out when I need to refill them. Hence, only going that size with the toolbox. But, ties in very well, and I think it looks schmick. Any questions, don't forget to uh, ask down below, and I'll give you some help. Um, we've got the big chains. Now, the only problem with having them chained up like this, if it rains, water goes down on the inside of here and goes down through it all right so you do need to empty the water out all right if it's been raining on the front also i've actually 
put on a, uh, a bin, yeah, with the bin. This was white, I spray painted it black, just drilled it straight into the toolbox here. And obviously, when we're traveling, we take this away. When we're not traveling, and we're just based up, put this out, and then our rubbish goes in there. You just take the rubbish bag out, throw it in the bin, and it's pretty handy. Up here we have the full bike rack. All right, we've only gone for the two bike rack. Last time we had four. Um, the reason we don't have the bikes here at the moment is we don't have the keys for it, okay? JV organizing the keys, the keys didn't come. Obviously, once you put your bikes up there, these go through your, your wheels and tighten down. You then put these on, unscrew that, pull the clamp out, the clamp goes around the bar, screw it back in, and then you can lock them so that no one can knock off your bikes. There's a tap here at the front and with a stone guard. This tap used to actually sit back here, all right, but we moved it forward to allow me to put the actual toolbox in. That was quite simple. The guys at JB did that for me. Now we have a, a toolbox, which I was gonna use for a generator box. I've decided with the amount of solar and stuff that I have, there's no need to take a generator with me. So we're gonna start a trip in May and we'll be back in September to do a couple other things. If I don't need the generator in that period of time, I'm not going to need one at all. So this is a bit of a trial. But all I've done now is I've put all my hoses and all my reels for my power and everything else in here. These actually won't be here. These are all off of my toolbox. But I had to get my toolbox powder coated. So I had to take all plastic and stuff off. So I've taken them off the toolbox. The toolbox will be powder coated and I'll put them back on. So like all toolboxes slides out so even if you had your jenny on there it's a decent size plenty of room in there and that's what i'm using it for at the moment now the other problem we're having at the moment is this is our first getaway in this van we don't have our car we've had to get a loan car to tow it our car arrives in australia on the 31st of march and i'm not going to see it until may so we can't properly pack the van there's certain things that are gonna go in the car, certain things will go in the van. So at the moment we've just thrown everything that we think we need and it's all gone together. Underneath the uh, behind the toolbox here is a pole carrier. Right. I've got nothing in there at the moment, however, I've got a little patio porch that will come out over my barbecue area and the poles for that will fit in there nicely. Moving along, we have the tunnel bin. Now with the tunnel bin, I've gone for extra height. They call it a Weber door so you can fit Weber barbecues and stuff in there. All right, at the moment, just got some tools and a shade cloth, normal everyday uh, tunnel boot. And then just here, it has its light. That's all there is there. Down the bottom here, we have our boss legs, all right? The whole van at the moment is sitting up on those legs and I can jack it up higher to take the wheels off the ground, especially if I want to change the wheels, if I have a flat or something like that, I don't need a jack. I can just do the, use these legs. Each of these legs is capable of holding 1,800 kilo per leg. So it's uh, they're very quite strong. They have a lot bigger floor space with their little pad to stop you sinking into the ground. This is our uh, toilet, all right? This is a SOG, okay? Uh, again, they've stuck a white one on here. But JB have ordered me a black one because you don't want white on a black background. All it does is it sucks all the uh, bad smells out and therefore they won't go through the van. Okay, they're quite good. It's just a cassette. What you do is unplug the SOG. So you don't spill anything from the toilet. Place a little bung in take it out there's your toilet I right, just like any other normal one um, at the moment Roz has chemicals in there we haven't been using it as we're in the caravan park so we're straight across from the uh, facilities so therefore we're just using them place him back in take out the little bung sit the bung in there so it doesn't go missing and plug it back in it's that simple. Sweating like a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. 
Okay, moving along, we have on the van, we have four 95 litre tanks. One purpose drinking, two general purpose, and one for grey water. Got our fillers, one, two, and three. Up here's our power in, for when we wanna power the van up when we're in a uh, powered site. Underneath here, any of the uh, things go wrong, that'll trip and we are laughing. Underneath here is the uh, outdoor shower. Haven't used it yet, but we'll give her a go. Give me a Roz. Look at that. Hey, good as gold. Yep, drinkable. Turn him off. <laughs> Clear the line. Good at taking things out, just no good at putting them back. Okay, we have our rear two water holes. Underneath here is my water mains to come into the van. What I've done is I've run it through dual filters. Hose comes into it, goes through there, then into the van. So I'm getting filtered water. All right, that's your uh, hot water system little vent. On the back here, we have a rear toolbox. Now, I got Dan at JB Burp and Gary and L, great guys, marvelous work. When I first got it, it had the had something in the middle of the floor space, which made it useless. I couldn't use it. So what Dan did was took it all out. Put it behind a board um, i'll open it up and show you so at the moment i've just got a few things just sitting in here so as you can see it goes all the way down and what dan's done is built this wooden board along and across hey guys we've had a, a bit of a malfunction um the other day when we were filming the uh back and the other side passenger side of the van didn't uh make it to the actual thing so we're going to start again pouring down rain on the back of the van, it's pretty clean. We've just got the spare wheel, the bar, and the two jerrys. The reason being, I'm putting the uh, LMAC fold-up boat trailer on there. Obviously, we're waiting for our car. The boat will go on the car, and then the trailer can go on the back. We've got our uh, Just Green Adventures little sign up there. And on the other side, we have the uh, Mullet One. remember them. Um, up the top, we have dual cameras and a light. There's lights all around the van a white or orange so that's basically the back of the van i may have to remove the jerry can holders depending on where the boats uh the trailer wheels actually sit okay as we come around this side we have another tunnel boot at the back it's full of stuff at the moment but if you have a look in here Rolf, We've put a false compartment there. In behind that is the batteries. All right, it's 600 amp of lithium battery. Um, the reason we put it there was so that stuff doesn't move around in there and I can actually use this compartment. This compartment is also accessible from inside under the rear club lounge. We've got the Dometic awning. Now we've gone with the uh, anti-flap kit. All right, some people don't use an anti-flap kit I just think it's well worth it because uh, if you're there for a short time and a bit of a gale blows up or you're not around, you save your awning. Um, pretty good anti-flap kits. Um, you can also run little shade cloths and stuff off the end of the anti-flap kit. On top we've gone with three rafters. And it just puts a bit more torsion or tension in the actual uh, canopy itself. Up the top I've got my speakers up high, so they're away from the dirt and the dust on the road. Some people have them down low, up there they work quite fine. In the middle of the van we have our uh, entertainment hatch, which we can put the TV on. It's got the airbags. I've gone with the uh, remote airbag on this one. On the last one, I didn't have it. And what I found was, when I needed the other side to be 50 mils above the bump stop, Ros would go around with the little wand and I'd have to stay on this side and operate the air. Um, with this, you can walk around, up, down, good to go. There's no, no dramas, all right? So I highly recommend, if you can, with air, get the actual um, fob that goes with it. Also control the radio. 
We have USB and a 12 volt power point inside here. HDMI for the TV and sit out here and watch the football. The wheels that we have at the moment are the Mickey Thompsons that come from the factory. Okay, and they're the uh, 265 70R17s. Alright, so they're the ones that come with the JB van. Move along here, we've got a 240 volt power outlet, so you can put a fridge out here, put anything you want out here. This is underneath, alright, so you've got the uh, M46 shocks, and it's the ATX suspension system. Alright, got the airbags up the back, I'll go back behind there in a minute and have a look. As you can see, there's a fair bit of uh, protection on a lot of the pipe work. I'm yet to get under and do all the pool noodles. We've got a 95 litre tank up here, a 95 litre, uh, what do you call it, a grey water tank, and then up the back there's two more 95 litre tanks. If you have a look underneath, it's pretty dark, don't know whether you can see it, but it's all replicated and protected. Okay, so there's your other two rear 95 litre tanks, there's your air tank, and there's the air bags on the big beast. Checker plating everywhere, well protected. We have an electric step with fancy little lights. Now up here we have a picnic table, um, a couple of stickers that we've collected on there so far. Young Squid from down in um, Port Lincoln makes little uh, sand boards. Clay his name is. And, uh, He's got a little website on Facebook and all the Instas and all that sort of stuff. Um, makes the board, sells them, makes a pot money. I think he's only 14 years old. Good little kid, met him out at the Big Red Bash. So that's his little uh, logo. We've got the Pineapple Express. All the military people will know about the Pineapple Express. And Ignited Sights. All right, they do all lights and stuff. Moving to the front, we have the other tunnel boot, and it has all your weights and stuff in here. So this one is weighted at uh, 30.96, so say 31 kilo. I can put <coughs> four and a half ton in it, so it gives me a 1400 kilo payload, which is huge. Okay, um, at the front is the pole carrier which I'll put my little patio porch poles in there. We have the barbecue inside the little boot, the little bag for the barbie. And that wraps it up. Uh, the awning on the other side is our extended outdoor awning. Uh, it's called the Naughty Nomads. It's got a few leaves on it. Right? It's got some leaves on it. But uh, they're on the Sunshine Coast, Extend Outdoors. There's their phone number and their website. They have a lot of designs. All right, this artwork was from Michelle Pike. They have a lot of Australian stuff. They have so many different designs, it is not funny. Up on top of the van, you can see the sat dish. Um, we've gone with the Harriet air conditioner. All right, it's uh, a lot quieter and a little bit more economical. Oh, not economical, but yeah, economical. It doesn't run on as much power all right so it's a lot more efficient to cool down um, we've had it sitting on 22 and it's been quite good we have uh, four 200 watt solar panels which Roz will put in a little bit of footage going above the van and um, we're dropping it off today at Burp and Gary and they're going to put another 300 watts to 150 watt panels on the front which will give oh what are you scared of water yeah air force scared of rain skin's waterproof <laughs> yes, so, um, where was I at? Yeah, okay, so that'll give us 1100 uh, kilowatts of solar, all right, into our 600 amp lithium battery. We also have a 200 amp red arc, bat, uh, red arc blanket, which I can chase when we're sitting under the shade, I can move it around and obviously catch the sun. We should not run out of power.
Um, I hope you've really enjoyed the uh, walk around of the van. All right, it was pretty quick and pretty short. Most of you would have seen this type of stuff before. Um, the boss legs, I rate them. I didn't talk about them in my yeah, we did a boss video on that. So if you haven't seen the info about the boss legs, just go back and watch the boss video about the legs and the jockey wheel. And that only took me half hour to put on myself, undo two bolts on each of the legs, remove the ones that are there and put these ones on. Simple. But yeah, if you've got any questions or anything, just hit us up, send us a message, call Dave. He's happy to take your call. Hey boy, um, done a joke? No, you haven't done a joke. Ah, to... right, it's that time. Joke time with Dave. Hey Roz. Yes, Dave. What's the difference in a knife and a woman? What? A knife has a point. Ooh. <laughs> I'll slap him later. Don't worry, girls. All right, guys. Catches. <laughs>